Hey, what up, decisive marketers? You know, comparison tables are so powerful in marketing, but creating one takes up a lot of time, right? Uh, and I have the perfect solution for you today. It's called Ninja Tables, right? With Ninja Tables, you can add media to the table cells like uh, a nice call to action or a add to a cart amazon button uh, onto your to your tables you can set unlimited different colors you can connect your google sheets as well um, uh, woocommerce integration right your wordpress post uh, integration uh, you know and uh, conditional formatting as well and with all these features it just makes it so simple right with you know csv upload or let's say google sheets integration you can have uh content you can be scraping let's say amazon or uh, some kind of e-commerce store and actually uh, grab those data in your Google Sheet and send them over to uh, Ninja Tables to display them and that makes your job a lot more easy uh, if you have dynamic content coming in as well and of course we're going to be talking a little bit about comparison tables because that what that's what uh, most marketers use in their marketing um, strategy itself right so today we're going to be talking about ninja tables but before we dive in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so let's jump in to ninja tables right so this is um, my wordpress dashboard and i'm going to show you how simple it is to create a table with ninja tables pro right just to let you know you can see that uh, on the bottom left i have wp data tables um, i have tested it out as well and both of them are great solution pretty much they can do what the other two does but uh, i would say that creating a table with ninja tables is so much uh faster and simpler than using WP uh, data tables right uh, I very much prefer to use uh, ninja tables to create tables and um, I'm going to show you why right now okay the first uh, the first thing is that with ninja tables uh, it is the UX right the user experience is amazing because it's very um, guided right it's very guided uh, you're not lost um, the interface you can see that they don't give you many menu items uh, they don't give you too many options that overwhelm you and you know just makes you uh, unsure how to uh, go about creating one right so I'm going to put here um, phrase versus uh, ranking versus uh right to z right so i'm going to create a table like this over here okay of course this is not uh, ac uh you know actual information i'm just going to put in some random information that i have and show you how to do that okay so the first column we're going to put that as features okay and um, and there are multiple different uh, data types you can put in you've got your single line text field text area html field uh, numeric value uh, date fields uh, select view uh, you can insert a image of file and also a button or link as well right so i'm just going to put in as a single line text field and uh this is the advanced settings i'm gonna not gonna be touching this right here uh the next one is the conditional formatting so i'm gonna just uh, i'm gonna skip this here i don't have any uh, in, uh information on this column at, at all so i'm just gonna create this column and of course i missed out that last one here over here it's uh, transform value right so you can actually make some um calculations as well um you know uh you know using uh it makes it some sort like an excel file as well all right so i'm gonna go i'm gonna create another column right here and i'm gonna call this um column phrase then i'm gonna add the conditions here is equals to yes 
then set the background to green okay so let me make a lighter green color like this okay oops sorry let me just fix something as well i'm gonna add another column that says no and it makes it red reddish okay right so i'm gonna create another column like that okay and this is yes this is green okay and no this is red okay and another column right here and i'm gonna call this column yes and no okay and i'm gonna add another column here um so let's say i'm gonna put this as by now and this is button or link and if you have the url you can put that in here okay and you can set it as open link in new window so let's say i put this as amazon.com okay then i'll add a column right here okay now i can okay so now i can add the data so uh so over here this is let's put in some information here so let's say outline builder uh, this is yes no yes uh, I'm gonna put in amazon.com okay and right so if you keep this checks checkbox right here ticked you can just keep adding and adding and adding right so next is keyword volume data this is yes sorry this is no yes no right and just click add and you can move on to the next column this is title optimizer so this is no yes no okay and i'm gonna be done right here just gonna click add okay so i've got three um uh, I've got three uh, rows right here, right? So we are, we can actually take a look at the table right now. Okay, so I gotta set this uh, one over here. Okay. And let's say uh, I gotta set the uh, let's put white here and let's make it a bit orangey like this, okay? And we'll put a grey border, okay? Now we can take a look at the table, right? So we got a buy now button here as well, just uh, easily uh, filled in, okay? And then we got green uh, for yeses and no pink, uh, red this for no right and you can sort uh, you can sort the uh, the tables like this um, you can search right so you can search for stuff as well um, you can set uh, where to search in as well right so it's a very simple tool to start uh, using um, and then there are you know some uh, columns uh, you can actually tweak the columns if you want to move this to right here right and it's saving right so it's saved and if I refresh then the buy now button would actually move in front right here okay so you can uh, sort of move your columns right here okay 
so uh, this is where you set your design for the table you can set the colors uh, stuff like that in here front-end editing allows uh, your visitors to actually tweak the value in the table itself and any custom CSS JS or you want to import any content uh, from a CSV file uh, you can do so right here as well right so pretty much this is uh, flu uh, sorry uh, this is uh, ninja tables pro it's a very simple tool to use I highly recommend this um, especially if you are in the uh, um, Amazon affiliate marketing business uh, this is very very useful for uh, many of you uh, pretty much uh, anyone who requires uh, a lot of usage out of tables right uh, I would say ninja table is great so I have tested out um, WP data tables and uh, ninja tables pro I would say that because of how you saw me create a table with uh, ninja tables pro how uh, the logic of ninja tables pro works right so you just create a table you put in the name of the table uh, and then you start creating your columns setting your columns data type then uh, fill in the row so it's very systematic and I like that right because when I um, tried to use WP ta data tables um, it is it feels very complex for me because it's not guided um, and there are many options uh, that they have so for example when you create a uh, column in Ninja tables pro uh, they give you just the basic settings first then there's another tab that says advanced settings so if you don't need to touch advanced settings at all then you don't have to access that menu item at all right whereas um, with the WP ta data tables um, it's kind of overwhelming I would say uh, so um, my vote goes for uh, ninja tables uh, I would say that um, this might be my favorite uh, um, tables plugin for WordPress, right? So pretty much that's all in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, please comment below and do share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you, everyone.